Article 256 of the Indian Constitution, under Part 11, Administrative Relations between the Union and the States, deals with the obligation of States and the Union. Here's a breakdown of its meaning. Obligation of States, it mandates that each State must exercise its executive power, the power to enforce laws and policies, in a way that ensures compliance with the laws passed by Parliament and any other applicable laws in that State. This means that States must respect and implement laws made by the central government. Role of the Union The Union, central government, has the authority to ensure that States comply with these laws. If a State is not following a law as intended, the central government can issue directions to that state to ensure compliance. Purpose The central government's power to direct states is essential for maintaining uniformity and harmony in the application of laws across the country, thus ensuring a stable federal structure where states follow national laws. Essentially, Article 256 ensures a mechanism through which the Union can ensure that states carry out their duties in alignment with parliamentary laws, preserving both national integrity and uniformity in administration across the country. The Constitution of India Part 11 Relations between the Union and the States Chapter 2 Administrative Relations General Article 256 Obligation of States and the Union The executive power of every state shall be so exercised as to ensure compliance with the laws made by Parliament and any existing laws which apply in that state, and the executive power of the Union shall extend to the giving of such directions to a state as may appear to the Government of India to be necessary for that purpose. Music